Alright. Clearly he has some potential issues with Byron. Or differing views at least. Attention all citizens. Due to the new power management and distribution plan, there will be scheduled outages on Jameson Avenue and Rakovsky Plaza. The Gehenna Memorial Pavilion will remain closed for the time being. Thank you, and may the Founder be with you. May the Founder be with you. Line up position for public referendum. New Jersey needs new forms of energy generation. Hello, 1K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. I know you've just had a big moment with the apparition at the dam and all that, but can I have a second of your time? Sure. I'm collecting signatures to call for a public referendum on the city's energy crisis. Currently, the city runs on hydroelectric power from the dam, plus a handful of geriatric generators and some unreliable solar panels, none of which is enough to even cover our basic needs. And if anything fails, we'll be on the brink of extinction in a matter of days. Yeah, what do you propose? We need to investigate new sources of reliable baseline power. We need to invest time and resources into functional, real-world solutions that serve human needs. Oh, an election would be good too, but I believe that we need more direct democratic control over the affairs of the city. Again, I don't really know that I've got enough kind of knowledge about the whole civilizer, like the whole area, to be able to say yay or nay. Um, let's see how I think about it. Is it the song from the first game? I find it like weird, like the whole... Like the whole kind of like... Like exploration side, like we know puzzles and like building the story is kind of like massively stepped away from Welcome the original Welcome to New game. Jerusalem. Like robot's name was meme then for a minute that one seems friendly enough and this place is pretty darn big milton's rest tablets of the founder alexander drenna memorial museum of the simulation friends of new jerusalem gazebo Gehenna memorial pavilion best pronounce it Correctly, since it was actually voice acted to be Gehenna, ah. as opposed to Gehenna. That's... <coughs> Gotta follow that cat. Where are you going, cat? Where are you going? Yeah, it's all looking a bit um, blurry for sure. Exhibition 312. Finding the corners for the new power management distribution plan. Hey, there's like the terminals and things. It's pretty cool. 
barrel. We can't actually go in there and take a look at it. It's unfortunate. It's interesting that like they keep that posters like around like we're not above nature. It's like trying to drum home like what almost the human civilization did and the reason they became extinct. It's a kind of like actually, you know, look after what you've got, sort of thing. Speculating on the meaning of this Prometheus figure is premature on, crazy. until Hope we can well. agree on its nature. You already have a theory. I know it's beyond any projection technology I'm aware of. If it wasn't us, it must be alien. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. One key, we'd appreciate your thoughts on this. Now we've achieved the goal, fresh perspectives like yours will be increasingly hard to come by. I'd love to get a quote from you for this evening's newsletter. Speculation aside, one key, is there anything we can know for sure about this Prometheus? Um. Seems like it's directing us toward the island. That's undeniably true. And what does that tell us? Um, we may learn more following its directions. That was my conclusion as well. The apparition also appeared to be human. What can we assume from that? Um, I guess like one of these two, like, obviously we are based on humans and their, and how like, humans have access to like, their whole history and everything that went down, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's human because it could just be like a, an artificial human. Let's go, we can probably understand its meaning. I tend to agree. I'm also sure that we lack the knowledge ourselves to create a projection of such clarity and magnitude. Um, I don't know. I have no idea on that. Whoever or whatever is behind this, we're on the back foot. We need more information. What makes you think it was a projection at all? How do we know it wasn't just a mass hallucination? I considered some kind of bug in our code, but if so, it would have to be shared by all of us. So, we're speculating again. We've locked in the premises. I'd like to hear one care's best guess. I don't know, it's hard to say, I mean, I don't think, like, we're behind it. If it's coming from the island, then... And... It depends, like, what the Founder's been doing since the Founder left, I guess. Let's just say I don't think one of us is behind it. I mean, that could be... It could be in our heads somehow. If we're all, like, generated from the same code. The same base code. It's not aliens. And if it was our answer if it was their ancestors, I don't think they'd have the power to kind of like produce like holographic projections, so um that's in our heads somehow. Can I quote you on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> One key may be new. But you've been figured out already, Cryer. Well, thanks all for hashing this out with me. Let's hope the mayor signs off on exploring this island. I only wish I could join the expedition. If Melville's going, someone has to stay behind to keep the lights on. I'm not letting Pellegrino near the dam. 
I hope the next time we speak, we'll have a bit more data to go on. Hey, Asias, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Welcome in. Hope you're well. Yeah, I mean, it's it's quite interesting. Hi, 1K. There's like so much like thought provo provocation, like so early in the game when you know very little about their civilization and like everything. So, yeah. Uh, to answer your question, Crazy, uh, yeah, it's really good so far. I've not really got like majorly into it yet. So, um,. We're more just kind of like story building and, and exploring the city at the moment. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, carrying on. Oh, wow. It's you. You're 1K. The incarnation of the goal. Man, this is exciting. This is more exciting than I thought it would be. How are you? What does it feel like? Do you know where the founder is? Do you know who Prometheus is? Can you tell me what to do with my life? Sorry, it's just such an honor to meet you, you know? Hey, can I have your digital signature? I have the Mayor, Rand, Linux, Kaneda, and all of the First Companions. Except Yemo and Sarabai, of course. Yes! Thank you! Hey, can I ask you a question? Just one question, I promise. I used to make the prefab wall parts that we used to build living quarters. Got good at it, too. But now that the goal is complete, I don't know what to do with myself. So I asked the wisest people in town. The mayor told me I should do whatever the city needs most. Helga said I should do whatever makes me happy. I think that's what she meant anyway. And Cornelius told me I need to figure out who and what I'm invested in. You're the culmination of the Founder's will. Tell me, what should I do? Um, well, I mean, if they've all been working towards this, like, 1,000 citizen thing, then, I mean, there's going to be very little left to do, right? So, they've achieved their goal. Don't really feel like they should... What, what would the city need, though, now that they've kind of, like, achieved their goal, other than, like, to keep the lights on and the power running? Um, but I might just take it. Mean, I would say, like, stuff that makes you happy, possibly, but I'm quite drawn to this answer here. Literally just been born, and the last person who should be offered advice. Uh, no, just do what makes you happy, dude. Thank you for the advice, 1K. It means a lot. All right, and the M of simulation. Look at the gargoyles, assets found in the simulation. Gargoyles were grotesque, atrophic symbols common in the Middle Ages. The most famous historical gargoyle is remembered in the ancient phrase Keith David and Goliath. Keith David and Goliath was described to indomitable opponents who would learn to surrender. Um, I'm sure it was Keith David, but a good German strength simulation dragon that exists in every ancient mythology and are considered by modern historians to be a distant cultural echo of the dinosaurs, originally a video game asset repurposed by the Institute for Applied Neomatics. Goldian. The statue of the Egyptian god Horus found in the simulation. One of the gods' tasks was to uphold the mat, balance of nature. It is speculated that the progenitor provided Elaheim with this asset as a reminder to the founder that the balance must be protected. Where 
and such fan simulations declared the Roman Re Republic into the empire and its eventual fall in the year 1453 was a major topic of historical debate. Like other statues found in the museum, this was a video game asset provided to Elohim by the Institute of Applied Pneumatics. This generation of karma is only produced no emoticon, no character, just mathematics. Let's see how far we come. You wouldn't believe that together would achieve anything. Good old shepherd. Can't forget the shepherd. I don't know where I am. Well, there is something beautiful about this place. I'll explore and see what I can discover. More important than learning more about the world and our place in it. Knowledge is our path to understanding. Classic. Classic people there referenced in the original game. Probably can compute terminals from simulation terminals, provide access to files in the AL system. Included many that were loaded due to errors. It also allowed the command to interact with the Milton Library Assistant. With the hexahedron used to cause element in simulation, apparently using to activate pressure plates, scale walls, elevate connectors, and in a variety of other ways. Pretty cool, like if you didn't play the original. Kind of but this kind of gives you a bit more backstory and a bit more knowledge as to you know what went on kind of thing, so it was just said when I first came into being have vanished, others have appeared. How many others like it have one of these paths? Been lost. Sorry, excuse me. Something was impossible. I can't imagine fathom how it works, and I'm terrified to put one foot in front of the other, lest I fall through the floor. It'd be kind of nice though if they kind of had the whole. Some of these barcodes were from some of your friends' lists, just to throw something random in there. Been pretty cool. For archive scholars, visitors are welcome to have a look around. Don't be afraid to ask us about our research. Oh, just run the program on the center terminal over there, would you? Wait, you're not my assistant. Who are you? Of course, you're the new build. Number 1000. I suppose everyone's been treating you like royalty. This city is so obsessed with the numbers, they forget what really matters. What do you want? I'm one of the Archive Scholars. We run simulations to better understand the processes which define us. You probably wouldn't understand. Oh, well, I'd be happy to. Troubling, but tantalizing. We have no idea what motives lie behind this strange apparition. But whatever the case, I'm sure we'll do the right thing. The secret of how to lead a good life is encoded somewhere within us. My ambition is simple, to find it and share it. I didn't want to ask the what do you think of me straight away, because to me that's a bit rude and a bit big headed. It's like, I don't care what you think, I'm what you think about me. You're a soon to be pawn in a political game over the future growth of this city. All that matters to me is whether or not you're of good character, a matter I'm actively pondering. Now uh, hold on, could you help me by going to that terminal in the middle there and running the program on it? virus which threatens the entire human species has been released from the melting arctic permafrost society's collapse in intellectual character class uh scientist you're a scientist the laboratory you worked for has collapsed although you are not in not yet sick most businesses are closed rations are dwindling and if you cannot find food your family will starve to death you must survive until the plague is defeated what will you do Find some nettles, overripe berries down, and overripe berries over the, down by the canal. It'll make it'll make a meager salad. Your family's hunger increased a little. Origin is reliable but ineffective. Your family is now hungry. Global population is now five billion. Somewhere else in the city exists one of the last remaining research laboratories, working desperately to find a solution to the viral threat. If scientists cannot find a cure in time. Humanity is doomed. You know what to do. Uh, 
Um... It's time though, isn't it? Research. It's not glamorous, but most scientific research consists of repetitive testing of samples, regimented recording of largely interchangeable results. Little by little, this is now this is how science happens. Research level increased level. Research reliable but inefficient. Re current research level 33%. The virus has been isolated. Global population is now 4 billion. And you and your family seem to be immune to the virus, but it continues to ravage the rest of the town. Rumors say most of the remaining food has been stockpiled by the billionaires in their underground bunkers. What will you do? Deal this time. You successfully stole some food from an apartment that's abandoned or currently occupied at least. Your family's hunger decreased a little. Stealing is high risk, high reward. Your family is now well fed. Global population is now 3 billion. Meanwhile, scientists continue their search for the cure. You can do it. You can save the world with the power of science. More research. Right, we're now at 16%. Workers begun on developing antivirus. Global population has 2 billion. As if things went bad enough as the human population dwindles, the insect population has exploded. A plague of locusts has decimated the town's unripened crops, but perhaps your family still has a chance. The insects themselves are nutritious and plentiful. What will you do? Eat the locusts, I guess. The insects are well fed and lazy. You grind them down into nutritious paste, which is mildly nutty flavour. Your family's hunger decreased a little. Your family is now well fed. Web population is 1 billion and it's humanity's final chance. The cure is close, but it's so is the tipping point in the pandemic. A race against time. Can you save the world? Um. researched 100 percent i guess we're gonna die aren't we Protein antivirus has been discovered but there's still work to be done on manufacturing and delivery in time certainly a breakthrough the antivirus can be released as norm as an aerosol carried on the wind and dispersed worldwide in a matter of days this approach poses some risks into invertebrate life spiracles of cockroaches flies and locusts are particularly likely to convert the aerosol into highly poisonous compounds. Mm. Estimates suggest a 90% fatality rate among these species and anything or anyone which consumes them. Use character class special ability. As a scientist, you're convinced there's some way to deliver the antivirus without poisoning the food chain and your family along with it. And it turns out you're correct. Unfortunately, it would take a further six months to develop it, and by then, there really wouldn't be much point. You don't want to lose your family, but as a scientist, there is only one reasonable cause of action. Release the beast! Saving humanity seems like the obvious ethical choice. The antivirus release, bonding with this, uh... Yeah. Cloud labor and falling as rain all across the planet. 87.5% of the human population has perished, but the last remaining billion will live to die another day. Except that is for you and your family, who will die this very moment. The poisoning of the, the insect population you are relying on for food will have far will have far-reaching consequences for the future planet Earth. But not for you, because you're all dead. Congratulations considered a win scenario by the majority of this this club participants. Let's try again. Though I saved the world by sacrificing myself. A size sick and the idea that's made sick is growth, infinite growth, infinite consumption on a finite planet is a recipe for destruction. Our desire for more and more, more and more is what's making us kill our only home we have. Let's do what? Produce more plastic toys, make more hamburgers, pour concrete over every last bit of green soil. Those who, who purpose techno fixes to our problems are making the mistake of fighting the symptoms, not the cause. Anthropogenic climate change is one of many symptoms. The cause is human greed. That's what we must truly fight if we're ever to do to going to undo the damage we did. And the battle starts within every one of us. The realization that more isn't always better. 
This infinite growth on a finite planet thing is driving me up the wall. Our problem today isn't infinite growth, it's the increasing lack of real material growth that benefit people. Have you seen the state of our roads, our bridges, our hospitals? Have you noticed the lack of affordable housing? The stock market's going great though. Bank numbers are indeed indefinitely growing, yes sir. But in the real world, investment in research is down. Huge areas of potential technology and advancement are just sitting there. We have so many solutions at our fingertips, but we refuse to act because speculation is more profitable. The orangutans went extinct on a global level and nobody fully understands why, but hey, who needs better medical technology? Viruses have never jumped species before, have they? What I've always found like really interesting about like this game in particular is like it kind of brings a lot of real world like a lot of our real world problems from today and like puts them into this game. It's um it's quite interesting when you like read these passages of text, I must say. How much is not material? Ultimately, all attempts to finding meaning in material things are doomed. This is usually understood as a criticism of techno technophilia, but it applies just as much to its opposite. Meaning can be found neither in technology nor in primitive primitivism because meaning simply does not exist in the external world. You can be happy in the old stone house or, or a skyscraper, but it all depends on you and your perception of the world. If you find spiritual balance within yourself, you can be happy anywhere. Most of the comment. Tyfe Lee, 1789. Go take a beep in the forest without toilet toiler paper and then tell me about happiness. Yo, Die Domino's here. What's going on? Yeah, indeed, this is. People say, oh, money doesn't matter, but come on. You know it does. Studies show that people do, in fact, get happy with the material, more material wealth, and that isn't enough a cap. Because the more money you have, the fewer worries you have, and the more opin the more options you have. Go, go where you want, do what you want. Have an idea? You can realize it without begging for crowdfunding money or fulfilling out grant applications. That's real freedom. Money doesn't matter is something rich people come up, came up with to keep the plebs in their place. Excuse me. Then why are so many celebrities so freaking miserable? Why do so many rich people go all Howard Hughes and beep? It's interesting though. Um, it's a comment. Uh, it's a discussion that uh, many people have a lot of the time about like, oh, you know, money, money buy, money can buy you happiness. And I, I am definitely of the opinion that while money makes things easier, it's definitely not the be all and end all. Um, for sure. Well, that was your first taste of the simulation. You must have questions. No, you must have questions. No. Before our ancestors died, they built an iterative simulation, gave it access to the archive, and hooked it all up to the hydroelectric dam which still runs this city. What you experienced on that terminal was one of the fossilized remains of that program. Many of the artifacts we study have no clear origin. We can't know whether our ancestors created them long before the simulation existed, or if they're just a product of our shared subconscious. The goal was to create a new consciousness, and thus propel humanity into a post-biological era. I know where the archive is, so... My appearance to you right now is part of the simulation. The lands and puzzles in our dreams are part of the simulation. It's the veil through which we see the world. Then I have some questions for you. Yeah. Your experience of the program. How did it feel? Excuse me? Can't you see we're having a conversation here? That was a bit rude. Um... Yeah, it was fun. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, but this isn't a game. This is the future of our species. The interesting thing about this particular program is that no matter what choices you make, an ideal outcome seems to be impossible. It seems to demand sacrifice. Did you have the same experience? 
No, we've got to burn it, of course. Um. Who did you save? As I expected. A skeptic would say this artifact existed simply to condemn us with the impossibility of ethical choice. No matter what moral laws we follow, people suffer and die, so what's the point? But that cannot be correct. We must be missing something. What is it trying to tell us? sacrifice the greater good I mean sacrifices happen for the greater good but I don't think it demands it well don't be too hard on yourself my research tells me there's a concrete rule set for moral behavior but my life's work to date hasn't revealed to me what the devil it is. Biological hominids had dreams manifested by their subconscious, which they tried to interpret and even to navigate with lucidity. We have the simulation. If we can realize our potential to understand it, we can realize our potential as a species. Thank you for bringing this additional data. I must return to my research. I wish you well on your inwards journey. Inwards journey? Don't you normally have an outwards journey? We could approach the to puzzle I've used in simulation. They could be activated by having, having a weight pulled on them, such as a hexahedron connector or even the founder herself. Fan puzzle element used in simulation to be used to propel an object or, if placed horizontally on the ground, cause it to hover. to kind of like read all of the barcodes. Interesting that we've got like some areas that we can maybe reconstruction of puzzle from the Roman theme testing area of the simulation which Elahan referred to as the land of ruins. This is where the founder began her journey. Uh, I speak to Cornelius. Uh, it would appear not from my logs. Uh, I did see there is somebody there to speak to, though, LB, so um, I'm going to go back and get them when I come back. Okay. to uh do here I didn't see that I have to say that my uh my machine is not liking this uh these frames that's for sure in this area this whole like kind of like open world area is not running great Yeah, I know. I'll probably have to, uh... I'll probably have to, like, turn down the graphics later.
Why won't you give me my sigil? PG theme testing error simulation, which I'm referred to as the land of death. Fragments from the book of the scribe of the Osiris found this area inspired the blacksmiths. The blacksmiths, a dream of Aru, classic work of Ge Gehenna interactive fiction. Is that, okay, so this is one of the um, things we would have read, I guess. But it would seem like it, the way it's like all kind of, the way it's kind of presented to us. I would uh, tend to agree with you there, LB. Almost like it was programmed to give like reward to the player, uh, to the um, founder, sorry. So I think I need to do that, but I can't remember though. Are these like these could actually be like puzzles from the original game, which I am not remembering. It's been an absolute donkey's age since I played them. But obviously, what I need to do here is. That to here. Uh, actually, get that from there. I need my box, hexahedron, and we'll do that. Probably gonna want that one as well, right? This one, we can just do this and that. Uh, I am not dropping any frames, I'll be. That's right, that should be bootstrapped. So. a uh, cheeky little achievement here. Puzzle testing error from a simulation film on medieval imagery, which Elohim referred to as the land of faith. Scholar scholars theorized that further areas with diff different themes existed at some point, but were destroyed by the gradual corruption of the simulation. Now you have access to two, two colors at once, this next puzzle might take a very, very long time. That sounds like something GLaDOS would say in Paul. Should have done that wrong though. Yeah, so that's like blocking there, so I can't do that.
Are they like gargoyles made out of wood? Completely overlooked that, LB. <laughs> okay. They did the simulation good and proper, didn't they? through the wall. I mean, I guess I kind of don't need to have... Let's run with that for a minute. I'm going to need one of those, though, to use the blue here, aren't I? If this puzzle was in the original, I don't remember this. So, big yikes. I think I control red with just one. Yeah, that's what I do. One, two, three. Grinder. There we go. That's what we do. And then we take this. Where is the blue receiver? Yeah, you see, I need to... think need to keep open really on that side is this right so I feel like if I did that move this back to here And I just need to change the position of this one temporarily. 
Yeah, that's it. So we do that. Then I can reposition the red. I only take from there and there. Then that there. Jump out, take this without the connections. Uh, catcher jammers the jamming buzzers bombs a bombs is it I am not exposing mine hey we explored the entire museum Good sigil puzzle. Well, these took you a long time. Are they that, like, complex? One team's better, you just noped out the room. Oh dear. fascination with these like puzzles that always amazes me how, like how many different combinations you can get that are so close to what you need to get without actually getting there getting progressively harder and harder.
is it? Yeah, that's what I was kind of trying to get to. Um, team spinner I probably didn't articulate it very well, but yeah, that's the the very point I was trying to make. Everything's looking good. You get there, and then it's like you technically like one of these pieces. Normally, it's like it's like the opposite way around to the one that you've got. So nope. That's a nope. Yeah, this should be pretty straightforward because you've got like these. You've got like these. Um, square and rectangular shapes you've basically got to then make a square or rectangular shape with your remaining pieces I've seen quite a lot of people like playing Talos 1 in preparation, I guess, for playing Talos 2. your first tunnel stream going not well we just sat here and we explored the city and then we just played shapes for the rest of the stream Yeah, so these are like the gate puzzles, crazy. Um, so after you've solved a number of puzzles in an area, you will then have to put all the sigils together to be able to access the next area kind of thing. Or sometimes there's a new um, puzzle element that's hidden behind one of these that you need to unlock.
if not, we'll go around that way. But I have got to do that like that. So we could go around like that. Like that. That's not right, is it? Yeah, so the problem is that I'm only left with... Yeah, the top bit's definitely not right because I'm only left with rectangles and squares and squares, so I can't make, can't basically fill the gap up. Yeah, the music is quite, um, quite kind of like a passive area of the game. It's quite. Um, something. saying to me that like, I need to have it the other way around. Your streams. Where can we do something different? Yeah, it's pretty much like the premise of like the first game of these is like they progressively got harder and harder as you kind of progress through the game. Well, in the original, there was um, there was like a little companion game that was released. I think was it before at the same time as the original. Maybe somebody will be able to um, correct me with that those details. But yeah, they kind of like there was a mini game, and you could unlock different bits and pieces for the game in the mini game. Yeah, the sigils of Elaheim. I remember getting like I, I don't remember like I mean it's a long time since I did it but I don't remember getting like codes for floor six I remember getting codes for like I'm sure it was like unlockable stuff that I don't think I ever unlock I redeemed. same kind of thing here. I 
that is the result. There we go. Boom, just like that. 